I'm Ari Berman from Mother Jones. I am going to tell you about three little known but very influential architects of voter suppression in the country today. Chris Kobach is the Secretary of State of Kansas and he is the architect of laws restricting voting and immigration. Department of Homeland Security has a database of all known aliens, green card holders, temporary visas holders in the United States, and that has never been bounced against the state's voter rolls. He is the guy that wrote Arizona's controversial show me your papers law that allowed the police to stop undocumented immigrants for any sort of reason. And he is the guy that has passed some of the worst voter suppression laws in the country in his home state of Kansas. And he is the guy who's been whispering in Donald Trump's ear that millions of people are voting illegally. Hans von Spakovsky is an official with the Conservative Heritage Foundation. He worked in the George W. Bush Justice Department where he was known as the point person for undermining voting rights. He has been the lead author of voter ID laws and one of the main people pushing the myth of voter fraud for many, many years. We have many states where they have hundreds of thousands of individuals who are not just registered in that state, but also registered in other states. A lot of that may be mistakes and errors. Uh, some of it may be individuals who are illegally voting in more than one state. J. Christian Adams was a colleague of Hans von Spakovsky's in the Bush Justice Department, and he has been going all across the country forcing states and localities to purge their voting rolls in discriminatory ways. Where foreigners are getting on American voter rolls and as we documented, casting ballots by the thousands. And he's been publishing these lurid reports about an alien invasion of non-voters. But one of the people he claimed was a non-citizen voter was actually an American missionary in Guatemala. And when you look across the country, you have millions of people on the rolls with bad registrations, non-citizens, people who have died, it makes a difference in some places. I'm Ari Berman, voting rights reporter for Mother Jones, and these are three of the worst vote suppressors in the country today.